Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I have another layout and <laughs> I think there's something wrong with me. I could not put the planetarium kit away. There was too many scraps and it was driving me like I put everything together to put it away and I was looking at it going there's just too many scraps. So uh, instead of using the template, the sunburst template that I've been using for the last few months uh, from Studio Calico, I decided to make my own. So this is the sort of the chipboard that comes in behind uh, whenever you buy pattern paper. They slip that in to, to make sure this chip, the pattern paper doesn't get warped. And um, so I just took my Martha Stewart template and then I drew sort of four boxes at six by six and then I just kind of kept making um, lines through one from one square to the other and it just makes a sunburst and then I I numbered it from 1 to 16 there's 16 of them and the reason I didn't want to use my sunburst template is because there's only so many sunbursts and I don't find it uses it uses enough pattern papers so this way I found that um, you know I got to use way more different pattern papers so now I'm going to take each and every one of those pie ch pie, um, pie pieces I guess and I'm going to draw them out and once I draw it out I put the number that is on the chipboard so then I remember exactly how they fit in the puzzle and I'm what you see there is what I have left as scraps and there's a, a few a couple of sheets that you know are one of them is a full sheet and then there's a couple more that is more than six inches and that like I said just annoyed me and then um, I was at work and I was kind of doodling and I doodled like a sunburst and I'm like hey I could do that with the leftovers instead of using the template just you know trace it out and then and then you use up so much more pattern paper so that's what I did and uh, right now I'm working on another layout using the planetarium kit and I'm almost done. I probably have like 40 minutes or so left on it and I'll probably, you know, finish it off tonight. And then I had another idea for, so I don't know if I'm going to start the new kit in the next couple of days, but um, the next page is really kind of neat too. So um you know whether it's scraps or new papers and I, I felt it was kind of foolish for me to put all my scraps away when uh, on my Facebook group this week my challenge to everyone was use your scraps and here I was putting all these perfectly good scraps away so that was you know it was sort of a dilemma because I was anxious to start the new kit but then you know I hated putting these things away so I kind of compromised. Uh, you're going to see me use some, you know, new digital prints. And uh, basically the only thing I did use from the kit is the pattern paper and everything else I use from my stash. So I kind of compromised. I use some, you know, some from the kit and some from my stash. And the same thing with the next um, layout that I'm doing. I use the pattern paper for the background and then the rest of it I'm using my stash. So at least I feel like I'm using the pattern paper and I know the embellishments. I keep taking them out anyway for the next kits so I know they'll get used up. So I just wanted to get those like that pattern paper right there. Uh, Teresa Collins. I had not touched it so I was glad that I got it on this layout and I'm going to get it on the next layout too. So I took a bit of time and if you don't have like a 15 inch ruler I would really really recommend this Martha Stewart ruler and I got mine at Custom Crops. It's a non-slip ruler so you don't have to worry that it's going to slip and you're you know go off your line or that even worse you know you cut yourself with the exacto knife. And I absolutely love using my X-Acto knife. And I know I haven't used it lately, but uh, my X-Acto knife is always, you know, next to me. And um, I seem to use it quite, you know, quite a bit when I'm off camera, I guess. When So now I have it all cut out. 
and I'm going to take an eraser and I'm going to erase all the lines. And then the sunburst is not going to go back together quite as well as I thought it was. And I think I should have, I should have cut on the inside of the line instead of on the line because the sunburst ends up being bigger. But then that makes it so it takes a total different direction, which I end up liking. Because of the fact that it becomes too big, then I end up cutting it down and then I'm able to mat it on another background because it's not 12 by 12 anymore. So it's going to take me a few minutes to, um, you know, erase all the lines and then I'm going to take my ETG and I'm going to glue everything down and I'm not going to erase the numbers until everything is down because there's no way I'm going to remember all those numbers. And while I'm doing that, this is layout 19 of the planetarium kit. And yes, I couldn't put it away. And this layout took me two hours and seven minutes. So a little longer than, you know, most of my layouts. And I think it's because of all the drawing and the tracing, you know, the tracing and the cutting and the erasing and you know, it's two hours is still really good for a layout too. So, and another thing too is it does take me quite a bit of time to put all my stuff away. Because what I do is I, you know, put all, I have a drawer that I keep my kits in and I go through the whole drawer. I take everything out, put away the stuff, like all the pattern papers and, you know, and all that different stuff. And then I put the new kit in there. And so it does take me about, you know, an hour or so to get reorganized. And you know, when you've come home from a night shift, I, you know, when I was trying to make it so I was going to get tired and go to sleep, I felt like I wanted to scrapbook more than I wanted to organize. So that was another reason why, um, I ended up doing more layouts because I just didn't feel like organizing. I felt more like scrapping. So it took me a few mornings to get this layout done. Now I'm just going to take my quick dry adhesive and I kind of glued everything down. And also, if you want to see some still pictures, you can go to Two Peas in a Bucket in um, Studio Calico, sorry. And um, I upload all my still pictures there and my member name is Nicole Jones 911 or you can join me on my Facebook group and the link is going to be down below and we just kind of encourage each other to get a whole bunch of layouts done and to get our you know stuff used up. So this is where you know I cut down the the, the layout and then it was smaller than 12 by 12 so I mounted it on a gray cardstock and I knew I wanted to mount my photos on gray cardstock so I cut out the inside so I, I wasn't going to waste you know another sheet of cardstock and you don't see in behind the layout anyway so this is the piece of paper that I cut out and then I took my one of my journaling pens and I outlined every second ray just to kind of give it something you know a different look and then I cut down that paper to eight by eight and I found a couple of pictures that I wanted to scrapbook and I should have made it eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter but I didn't so then I just cut down one of the pictures so that it would fit and it's a picture of my daughter and she caught her one and only fish so she wanted me to take a whole bunch of pictures so I took pictures and then one of the pictures she's pretending that uh, you know the fish is biting her finger and you know so she was just having fun with it and now I'm looking for my doilies and I love that Ellie studio paper and I'm trying to use it sparingly because that little three inch piece is all I have left and I was looking to see if I could you know put down some washi but I decided against it and that little speech bubble with the hearts was from one of my digital prints that I just picked up a couple weeks ago and now I'm going through all my new ones that I still haven't cut apart because it takes I had 18 sheets so I have about I would say about half of them cut out so I'm going through some you know all the sheets and deciding what I like and I took one that said the best of times 
and then another one that said wonderful and a little heart that said love life and then a little heart that said love this and then a circle with a star with a heart in it so everything kind of coordinates and I took all um, little die cuts that were sort of you know light pink and now I'm going through the die cuts that we got in last month's kit trying to see you know if there was anything else so I'm taking everything that's pink out and then I'm going to show you at the end like I have this mess of stuff right now and at the end I'm going to show you what's left you know I have all this stuff out and it doesn't mean that I'm going to use it all but at least I have the option that's there and now I found the doily cut kind of got lost in the background so I misted it with uh, Mr. Huey ink I think it's called pretty in pink and I'm going to cut that one in half but it doesn't work out um, and I'm going to end up spraying a second one I was trying to conserve my doilies because every time I place an order with Studio Calico to, you know, to buy the kits, they never have any doilies. So I, I don't want to run out <laughs> and I can find some other ones, but they are cream and I really like the white. So I really have to go on a search and try to find some white doilies, especially in the six inch size I really love it and Studio Calico lately have not been carrying it so if any one of you know where I could get some if you could leave a comment that would really be appreciated so at this point like I said I have all this stuff all there I have no idea where any of this stuff is going to go and I just start putting stuff out I you know cut the doily I put one full one under the bottom left of the cluster of photos and then I put one at the top right top yeah top right and then I start putting you know I make sure that there's a circle a circle a circle heart 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 and I just go around the page like that and that's why and I just showed you there what was left over and and that's how I get the layers done and then I had this little flag that was a transparency I really liked it so one of the clusters is with my title so I don't really consider it a cluster because it's with my title so then I made a cluster at the top left and I use my little transparency flag I put that little heart that says love this and I had stamped out a camera a few layouts ago and I didn't use it so I used it on this page and now I'm looking through my basic gray um, letters that I had, we had gotten a few months ago and I totally forgot about them that month and I didn't use them but ever since then I've been using them quite a bit and so I had it and then I went through my stash and found these thickers the pink thickers and it coordinated perfectly with the layout and then I took out my mini markets snow cone and I didn't have enough ease to you know to finish kind of the layout so I was kind of a little bit of a panic because I didn't think I had any more mini markets that were pink but I found these and they're uh, sherbet and it actually worked out even better because the background is the light pink and then the letter is the deeper pink so it worked out perfectly so now I feel good about everything and I'm going to start gluing everything down using a combination of my ATG and my quick dry adhesive and I'm going to put some uh, foam tape and you can find it at custom crops and I don't know if you'll be able to find it under the adhesive tab because last time I checked it wasn't there but just search scotch 3m and uh, you should be able to find it and I paid $33 but I believe last time I checked it was 42 and I'm going to put foam tape under each at least under one thing in each cluster just so that there's dimension under each cluster and now I have forgotten to put a little tab there to coordinate with the rest I'm going to add some enamel dots and we had gotten those in last month's kit and I didn't get to use them and now I'm going to work on my title and I'm going to put it right there next to that cluster 
and I put something fishy going on here but um, as I'm doing the the voiceover I'm going to put there's something fishy going on here and I'm just going to put it right above the something and it just makes it so it's not just part of a sentence it's more all of a sentence <laughs> But I put it directly on the photo. So now I'm going to add some glimmer glaze in pink and in gray. And I thought I was done. And then I was thinking, you know, this is a fishing page. So I should really put some twine to kind of, you know, fishing line. And so I'm going to put a few pieces of twine. And I'm just going to ball it up. And then I just take my glimmer glaze, or my, not my glimmer glaze, my quick dry adhesive. And I just kind of put a big glob of glue and then I stick my twine in there and that way it doesn't move so I'm going to show you a few close-ups and that's it the page is done so thanks for watching bye